He's stressed, but so far he seems pretty nice. Alright, oh, chill, 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 chill. Alright, guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Today I got to work on this 100 pound husky mix and the owners requested that he came in with a muzzle. So I'm going to see what I could do. He's definitely getting that D shed today. I start off with that avocado mist and get that rubbed in really well. This is going to help loosen up that undercoat. Then we're going to move on to the power dryer. That's going to help blow out that undercoat before the bath. Save us a lot of time on the back end. You can see how much hair is coming out already just from this. There's no exact timeline on this. You just want to get out as much as possible. Now according to the owners, the toughest part, getting them in the tub. Uh, it wasn't too bad though, you just got to use all back, make sure you don't strain out your legs too much. He didn't want to stand in there though, so we had to noodle him up, which is essentially just a pool noodle. That way it can support his back end. Then we're going to get him rinsed down really well, get that coat thoroughly soaked. Then we'll start off with that blueberry muzzle facial, get that shampoo rolling in. Then once we get that shampoo all scrubbed in, we're going to put the conditioner right on top. A lot of shampoos and conditioners don't ask for this, but the one we use does. Once that's done, we'll set a timer for 10 minutes. This is the normal time that I brush for a D-shed. I use a flexible slicker brush, and you can definitely do more or less than 10 minutes, but 10 minutes usually does it. You can see all the hair coming out already. I'm going to do this from head to paw. I'll focus more on some areas, but you don't want to brush too long in one spot at any given time. He's doing really, really well. So well, I can get in the tub with him and get that brushed. You can see all the hair continuing to come out. If that ever stops or slows down a lot, then you can stop that 10 minutes. After that, we'll get them rinsed down really well. Then we'll go in for the towel dry. Then onto the power dryer, which is the most common for a dog to be really scared. I'm actually usually nervous on this as well, especially with large dogs. They start jumping around, trying to bite, even with a muzzle on. It could be dangerous for both of us. Then he doesn't want to turn around for his other side, so we're going to have to finish up that drying process here on the wall. Once he's mostly dry, I'll usually move him to the crate dryer, give him a little break. And then I can clean up as well some of the hair he left in the tub. Once that's finished, we'll bring him back to the wall, do a little bit more drying. Then we'll move on to the brushing again with a D-shed brush. This is one of my new favorite brushes, the Refresh. And even though he's doing really, really well, I'm still being very cautious, especially with where I stand. You just never know with dogs. They may just react to certain something, like people dancing around him and screwing with him. Nah, at this point, he was really comfortable, and I was really comfortable enough to play with him. And he seemed to enjoy himself as well. This is usually one of my favorite parts, especially with big dogs. They tend to be real playful and wrestly. And apparently he's so comfortable he just decides to take off his muzzle. I guess it was just on by choice. Now I'll finish up the brushing, give him some love, then get a nice fresh green bandana for him. Then we'll get a close-up of his nice, healthy, clean coat. No crazy hair coming out. And it was a complete success. I'm so happy I was able to help these owners get their pup washed. And we'll be seeing Kumo again really soon. I did have him like, like the noodle on his back, yeah. so secures him more, so he doesn't feel like he can. We were laughing at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you see, that's good. We tied him up because that was one of our battles. Like, what we thought, if we got him in the tub, all the hair are gonna keep him in the tub. Yeah. He's white now. I don't. Oh, um, can I can I say a prayer for you guys right now? Too? Oh yeah. Is that okay? I like yeah. to pray too. That's okay. That's good. Dear Lord, thank you. Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Thank you, Ted. Yeah, yeah, you're really right. needed that. We yeah. lost one of our brothers. Um, yeah. Well, most of the time I feel God asking me to pray for someone. I'm going to do my best to do it. And, you know, <laughs> not, nothing more important than serving the Lord, doing His work. Nothing more fulfilling either. And most of the time when I feel God telling me to pray for someone and I do, it, it turns out they needed it. They said they really needed that. God knows all. <laughs> we're just, we're just working for him. And you know, that's what's the most important. Not about, I can get no more views, nothing. But, can lose it all, but I still have my God. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Where we end up. We were made to serve him. So it's the only thing that truly gives us full purpose and joy and happiness in life. And once you've experienced that, there's no going back. Because everything else falls short. And you don't realize it sometimes, you don't realize it at all until you actually experience it. 
Once you experience the joy and the love and the peace of God, sure, it's, life is still tough. You go through hard times. You're not perfect, but there's nothing like it. Not even close.